Each of our clips in our session is displaying the name of the clip, but we can display a lot of other information in the clip as well. For example, under View Clip, I can choose something called Rating. Every clip can get a rating, and if it's rated, you will see the rating right there. How do I rate it? Well, either from the Clip menu, I can choose a rating, or by right-clicking and choosing Rating. Now, I didn't mention these shortcuts. On some systems, these are the same shortcuts for changing spaces, which is an OS X function. So if you press Control Option Command 3, you may end up in the third space rather than rating the clip as a 3. So you can turn that off through System Preferences. But for right now, I just choose to right click and choose a rating. Let's show the time. So you can see the time code of each of these clips, where it's placed on the timeline. If I switch to bars and beats, I'll see the bar and beat. So this one goes from 1-1 one, one to 5-1. Bar 1, beat 1, bar 5, beat 1. And this is bar 2 to bar 4 and so forth. What else can I show? Well, I can show something called overlap. You'll notice that some of these clips, like this one right here, has a little diagonal line in the corner. That's the overlap indicator. Let me zoom out on these two and raise this. And what you'll see here is I have two clips, the Piano 2 Grand and the FX Fuzz, and they are overlapped. Fuzz is overlapped by the Grand. This is on top of this. If I want this to be on top, I go up to Clip, Bring to Front, or Option Shift F, and now that becomes the front clip. If I want to make this the front clip, Option Shift F, and now that's in front. And of course, if I want to send it to the back, Option Shift B, and now it's in the back. So those are some of the things that we can show from the View Clip menu.